Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look at something that I found through a comment. I couldn't find the comment anymore, so I can't give kudos to the one that made it in one of, one of my videos. But thank you very much, because for me it was quite interesting, and I'm still confused a bit. That's why I'm also making the video. Uh, the comment was, what happens if you divide by zero? Like in a PLC, what happens in the PLC? Will we have an error? Will we have like like... An OB is called, will nothing happen, something like that. And I was like, I don't know. Why would I know? I have never tried. I never tried to divide by zero. So here I go. I, I tried it and it was quite fascinating. Uh, the outcome was quite quite fascinating. So quick video today only because I have lessons that, this week. But I thought this is quite interesting. So what we do, we take the division, we put it on the line. And I have already prepared this calculate data block, which is here on the side. And there we have a dividend a divisor and the quotient right, let's give those actually start values um maybe this is 10 this whoops 10.0 because it is in uh, it is float this is maybe 2.0 so basically this is 10 over 2 right now the result will come out of this and i have made the same with an integer data type so we'll do the same here 10 divided by 2 so let's have this in the second network here also a division and also I'm going to take the dividend, the dividend uh, over the divisor, divisor, dividend über divisor. And as the outcome, we will have the quotient value the, or as I call it, it's just the quotient. Who cares? <clears throat> it's mathematics. No one cares about mathematics. So once I download this now, let me, uh, I will download the whole thing here. <clears throat> Um, and right now those values are initialized. Let me check if they are really initialized with the right value for you. Um, yeah, they are initialized with 10 over 2. So 10 divided by 2. And here we have 10 divided by 2. So those are float and those are integer. You can see the data type is there. This is real and this is integer. Float already. Yeah, whatever. Float in most other programming languages uh, because you have a floating point here. We call it real because it represents real values. So <clears throat> that is perfectly fine. This works fine with all kinds of values, except, of course, if you put a zero below the line. So if you want to divide by zero, in reality, of course, that uh, well, if you've got imaginary numbers and stuff like that, of course, somehow you can solve stuff like this, but that's not what we have. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about just basic algebra. So if I put a zero, what is your expect? Uh, what is your expectation? M my expectation was actually um, that the PLC will say, "Hey, this is an error," and will go to stop, or at least it puts an error entry into my um, diagnostics buffer. So in here, in the diagnostics buffer, there would be an entry that tells me, "Hey, this is an error. Don't do this." PLC doesn't necessarily stop, but it at least tells me that is. Think about it. <laughs> Think about what you would like to have uh, would like to happen. Um, but I can tell you, it does not give us an error. That is very strange. And I thought about it. So if I just right click, I can modify the uh, divisor. So the thing that's under the line, I will just put it to zero, and I hit enter. You see, there's no error. But now it actually gives me a sixteen pound sign. Um, uh, 7F8000000 there. And the same is down here. If I put this to a zero, it gives me a zero. 10 divided by zero is not zero. 10 divided by zero is basically infinite or an error. <clears throat> yeah, this is really, really, really strange, right? What is this? Why do we have this value? I mean, zero, that might be an error code, but it is kind of stupid because if I have 10 divided by uh, 100, this will also lead to zero. So we don't we don't know if we have this um, calculation that gives us the zero or if it is an error dividing by zero. <clears throat> that is really strange. So what I did was I did a little, little uh, reading. I, I read about it and of course, the best place to read about stuff like this is in the help function. So I clicked on one of these, hit F1, and there is the help function. And for the 1200, you can see we're in mathematical functions for the 1250. I'm using a 1500. It is different for the S7300. Here we actually have a note 
Note, division by the value zero. So there is this whole like five lines, one, two, three, four, five lines, just about the division by zero. Very interesting. The division of a dividend input one by a divisor input two with a value zero sets the enable output uh, ENO to signal state true. So we can evaluate the signal out. You see, this is true. Both of them, this is true. So giving us, okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> On division by zero, the quotient value is influenced by the data type as follows. So the quotient value is this thing that is, whoops, coming out here, right? So this one here and this one, they are influenced by the data type. If the data type int or long real or L real, long real, um, the quotient value will be zero. That's the case here. So there is, for the PSC, we don't have the case um, division by zero. Division by zero is the same as having the result zero. If I divide 10 by 100, that's the result zero. Um, so because 100 doesn't fit in 10, huh? that's zero. So we cannot differentiate with the uh with the with this type of division if it if we have this error division by zero or if we have a real zero pretty fascinating the second thing the data type is real which we have up here that is the case up there the quotient value let me just do this whoops wrong button the quotient value so the output is the maximum value which is 2 billion, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 2 billion, 143 million, 289,344. So this value should represent it. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's have a look at it. I can right click, display format, tag, and I want this as decimal. So it, show, it should show it to me as a real value. And that was a little strange. Now it shows me as a real value, which in our case, is 2,139,000. It should be 2,143,000,000. Yeah. So there is a difference. So this value here is different to the one that the help function tells me. Very strange, very strange. So the help function here seems a little odd, if you ask me. Uh, and what I found out then, if we also put the dividend to zero this value actually jumps to two billion one hundred and forty three million that's okay two hundred and eighty nine thousand that's okay three hundred and forty four that's what we have in the help function and three hundred and forty three that's what we have in on the real plc so i am so this is this is the homework this is <laughs> this is just for me so confusing why does this happen i can't find the source of it because now it's off by one bit no, no, not by one bit but by one, one number which could be okay like this could be shifted because hey it is uh well the least significant bit represents zero or if you're looking at maximum number or so could be but um why does the help function actually say that number and why does the number change if i put anything in the quotient it goes to some random number and this number now it actually stays doesn't matter what number i put in the quote in the in the dividend that is really strange right so the result here is do not divide by zero <laughs> <laughs> not even the help function could help me really if i am just overseeing something right now because i am a little confused about this i don't like it if i am overseeing something put a comment down in the comments below i'm, I'm usually reading them i can't answer all of them but i'm usually reading them um at least uh put a comment down below because i want to know what is going on here this is strange of course, you should never divide by zero in the first place. But for me, this is strange. And I have been thinking about this and I just want to share it. And it's quite fascinating. And there was a comment about it asking for exactly that. My answer here, just do not divide by zero. That's as simple as it is. Good. 
So I'm going to leave you with this little riddle. If you find anything, put a comment down there below. Um, I thank you for watching and um, yeah, for today, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and bye-bye. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy, my friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>